Open as we welcome back our 8 o'clock co-host, the Admiral Bill Stubblefield. Two star. Thank you, Rob. Good to be here. Senator Jason Barrett. Good morning. Joined in the studio by our longest association that we have on this program, Mr. Michael Carl. Good morning. Glad to still be here. Glad to still have you. <laughs> well, I'm lucky. <laughs> well, we're all lucky in that well, sense. Well, thank you right? for saying that. Now, we have two uh, bearded members of the crew in studio, Jason Barrett, who keeps his tightly trimmed, and Mr. Lauren Schultz, who does not. Mr. Schultz, good Yeah, glad to be here. Uh, I, I, I attribute that latter thing to my Amish-adjacent upbringing. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't stop me from driving a car, though. He's not Amish. He's Amish adjacent. Larry Schultz. He'll draw the line somewhere. Now, David Valente is going to join us by phone in a minute. But first, let's bring in Tony Petrucci, the Berkeley County clerk, who's been letting us uh, know each day what the updates are for early voting in Berkeley County. Good morning, Tony. Good morning, gentlemen. Thank you for having me again. What a crew I have here for you this morning, Tony. You have uh, one hell of a crew. <laughs> <laughs> with yes, emphasis on the hell <laughs> oh my goodness sake yes what do you yeah. what do you got for us well we had another good day um total was 2757 people that voted in berkeley county uh i can divide that up for you a little bit three ways uh sure. bettington 1009 uh the dunn building 821 and pikeside substation 927, which brings that to about 23% of our 94,000 registered voters, excluding the absentee ballots, which I'll just wrap that up for you. If you want me calling Monday, I can give you everything then. Sure. Um, one thing that I can add, too, uh, at Bettington, we've had 7,990 people vote at the Bettington Rotan. The Dunn Building, we have 6,719, and the Pikeside Substation, 7,332, uh, 7, so, bringing in a total of 22,041 people. And you have today until 5, and then Saturday, 9 a.m. until and 5. That's correct. Mm -hmm. But we've blown away what we did in the primary, Tony. It was 17.3%, yes, now 23%. That's percent. correct. That's good. That's, yeah. Yep, yep, we've done real well, and... I look for Tuesday to be, uh, you know, one of those uh, big days. It should be. I hope it will. And Tony may have the opportunity to say this on Monday as well, but when I was voted, when I voted early, and I've heard this from a dozen people, how mm -hmm. professional every part of the operation was. There were people to help pe uh, individuals that needed assistance. Everybody had a smile on yeah. their face. Everybody was cordial. It was Americana in the pure sense. So well, my, uh, my hat's off to you and all, your, uh, all you I, folks. I appreciate that, yeah. uh, uh, Bill. They've, they've all done well. And, of course, that we had a meeting earlier when we started, and I told them, if you didn't do this, we're going to ship everyone to Sicily. So we... Uh, <laughs> They, they, they did a real good job. Were there any takers at all, Tony? <laughs> no, they all just looked at me like I was, you know, like, what the hell are you talking about? Now, so, if, anyway. if, if Rob had been there, he would have stuck up his hand so the more screw up again. Yeah, he'd have, he'd have raised his hand. <laughs> My people are from Sicily, baby. My people. There you go. Yeah. There you go. But anyway, it's going well, and I hope uh, Tuesday will be, um, you know, smooth. You know, and without any major problems that we can't take care of, but I'm sure we'll be all right. But you may very well wind up at thirty thousand by the time you get done with Saturday, Tony. Well, you never know. Yeah, I was I was hoping twenty, so we've done that. So yeah, let's let's shoot for the moon and try to do thirty. Tony, how could the problem in Mingo County actually happen when a candidate was left off the ballot? Somebody hit the delete button. Ah, well, you know that goes back to checking the ballots. I mean, mm -hmm. we've. You got to check that thing. I didn't realize that. Mingo County. Did, yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. One, um, of the, one of the candidates actually left off. There was a. Oh the well, that's that's a shame. But you know, you we've got our people checking it. We let our county lawyer check it um, before it's sent to print. So I mean, you know, I I guess it's just it shouldn't happen. It goes back to the clerk. Go ahead, Jason. Well, the situation down there is that there was a, a Democratic candidate for state Senate in the 6th District, mm -hmm. uh, and mm -hmm. he uh, withdrew, and the party replaced him. 
uh, and, oh. the, and the new candidate was not put on the ballot. Now, I don't. Oh. I, I think the old candidate was left there. Is my understanding. Now, I could be wrong about so that. How does that? How does that work? I mean, how did? I mean. Oh, that's a hell of what a happens I think, now? I think there were it's between seven and eight hundred voters in Mingo County that voted before the issue was corrected. So uh, I, I don't know how they're going to handle that moving forward. Um, that's what I mean. Yeah. yeah I, I don't know. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully the race is not decided by seven hundred or eight hundred votes. So. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. No, so. Tony, will you be? Taking any payments under the table or over to leave candidates off the ballot in future elections? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Jeez. I have a few dollars, Tony. <laughs> Let me suggest, Tony, that you qualify that by saying, as far as you know. <laughs> Absolutely, <laughs> as far as you know. I hope that, a- I hope well, that answer they've isn't. Already, they've, they've already started working on me about another place to have uh, early voting, so I yes. guess in the next uh in 2025, we'll be, and we'll be looking to do that. Uh, well, you know, we'll talk to the commission. It's going to cost more money, as, as uh, Commissioner Stubblefield knows. It's all about that too. But I've had commissioners come to me that say we need some, we need it out at, you know, West now. So, then um, very well, maybe. So we'll take a look at it. Tony, yeah. thank you very much. We appreciate your calls this week. Y'all have a good weekend, and uh, I'll talk to you Monday. We'll wrap it up with the total counts on um, early voting, and then um, we'll go from there after that. Who's Notre Dame have this weekend? You know, Rob, I've been so consumed with this, I really don't know. It might be Shepard, as far as I know. I couldn't tell you. I'll, I really don't know. I'll take I you in the game against Shepard. Yeah. I hate to say that. I hate to say that, but um, they can't lose anymore. That's all I can say. Have a good day, right, sir. Right, Bill? Yeah, that's right, Tony. <laughs> okay. You have a great day. Thanks, Tony. See you later. Right.